What's up everyone, welcome to 15 Facts About Me. Now the purpose of this video is just for you right there to get to know me a little bit better. So let's do this. Number one, I am 18 years old. Some years probably thought I was a lot younger, some years probably thought I was older. I'm 18 years old. My favorite color has got to be, I'd say blue, a light blue. So in school, what I did for my GCSEs in year 10, I started off with IT, engineering and food. I started off doing food until I'd say a couple months into the year and then we weren't doing any practical though and that was the main reason why I took food pretty much. And then I was like, you know what, I love sport, let's give PA a go. And then I got told that I had to catch up on 16 lessons, which is basically equivalent to death. And then I discovered what was my favourite subject as soon as I took it, and that was media studies. Next fact, I am 5 foot 3. Yes, I know, I'm small. Yep, I get it. Okay, so for those of you that are new, I do do wrestling reaction videos, and I'll probably say this, that my favourite wrestler has got to probably be... John Cena. Favourite subject in school, I'll probably say before I found media, so like from year 7 to, wait no, not from year 7, from, from all years until year 10, PE. Now after school, I was originally wanting to go to like university, but then none of my friends at school were going to university, so I was like, alright, screw that, I don't want to go by myself. But then I found out there was an atrocious system that came out that just made the school worse and I just I couldn't stay at that school any longer and then that's when I discovered the one place where you can only focus on one subject and that's about it and that is college. So I went to college and I studied software development, I did a two year course of that and I can successfully say that I wasted two years of my life because I didn't enjoy it pretty much, it just it wasn't for me, I couldn't do half the stuff that was there and also at that age I was like 15, I was like 16, 17, literally all I had planned on doing was graphics, 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 and then I just, I completely got sick of college and didn't want to do it anymore. But then I got told that I had to stay on. I was like, right, fair enough. My favorite type of music has got to be house. And my favorite house artist, and if you don't know who Martin Garrix is, then there you go. Number nine, throughout the process of school, you're obviously gonna have some dream jobs. Now I can officially say the first job that I was looking to do when I was around, I'd say 13, 14, maybe a little bit younger than that, I wanted to be an architect. And the reason for that, you know when you go to like someone's house and then you're like, you're brand new and then you're just looking all over the houses. In other words, being a nosy piece of shit. Yeah, I was that. Still am now, technically, to be fair. I was obsessed with looking around all the houses that I went in. Then, a few years later, I decided that an architect was not my thing. So, a few years later, from wanting to be an architect, I then wanted to be an engineer, because that's when I was doing engineering in school, and I absolutely loved it. Mainly the practical part, like working on all the machines and stuff, like the lathe machine, the, the lathe machine, the miller machine, the pillar drills, the forging machine. But for real, I absolutely loved engineering. And I was like, you know what? I'd love to be an engineer, because in engineering, there is a shit ton of money to be made. And you're probably wondering, well, why why aren't you doing engineering? To be an engineer, you need to be good at one other thing, and that is numbers and maths. And guess what I wasn't good at? Maths. So that job was straight out the window. Now, in 2015, 2016, I was looking on Twitter in the summertime and I found an image and I just said to myself, I think I'm going to start doing graphics. So that is when I was looking for photo editing softwares, then I came across Photoshop. But that's all back in like school times. I have three other dream jobs that I would love to be doing now and they are, I would absolutely love to be a future house DJ performing in front of thousands of people or, and that is to be a professional footballer. And the third one is to probably be a 
a fighter, mainly a wrestler. The next fact is favourite game of all time. Now for, now for those of you that are new, I do do gaming videos, not loads. I literally just do like fours and that's about it. But I do want to get into Fortnite more. But I'm just kind of shit at it basically. But my favourite game of all time growing up, Modern Warfare 2. My favourite food has got to probably be, it's between two meals and any British people will understand this, chicken sweet corn pie or roast dinner. And I'll probably say roast dinner. That is just the perfect meal to finish off your week. My favourite holiday destination is probably Los Angeles because the weather, the the view, the Hollywood sign, the girls on the beaches, just the all around environment and the look of it in general is, in, is just, it's beautiful. Okay, so favorite TV show. A fair few shows I do like and they are mainly daytime ones that consist of, there's, there's one daytime show that I absolutely love and I'm pretty sure a lot of other British people love this and that is This Morning with Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield. Because Philip Schofield is just an absolute hero. But there is TV programs later on in the day. And my favourite one at the minute, the second series that's just kicked off, and that is Yanni Supercar Customizer. My most used social media is probably straight up Instagram. Okay, a couple of days after I recorded a separate outro for this and I accidentally deleted the file. Yes, I know. So the final fact to end this video is that I'm a massive fan of the drums. I've been a fan of the drums ever since I was a little kid to be fair, but if there's one band that I'd say I'd absolutely love that is included with the drums, it's got to be the band known as Rush. And I think it's a song called YYZ. It's a drum solo, but that's pretty much my favourite drum solo ever. And if you don't know what that sounds like, here it is. It's just insane. Right to everyone, I think that is where I'm going to end this video. Hope you all have enjoyed this. If you have, please remember to smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I will catch you lot on another video. Peace.